I don't think that that's the case anymore. I don't, I could give two sh about politics right now. What I care about is saving lives. Okay, because our political structure is entirely fake. If we can wake up the masses to how murderous this corporate crime syndicate is and how serious these people are about actually killing you and raping your kids and depopulating the planet and blacking out the sun and all of the covering up for NASA. I mean, all of these things, if we can if we can show you like literally, hey, bring me proof about the moon landing and look. I'm not a sold out flat earther. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I unequivocally know 100% that the earth is flat. Why? Because I've never been up there. I've never been yeah, there. Exactly. But people, exactly. people call me, the people with blue check marks on Twitter just absolutely freak out when I say, you know, uh, NASA has to prove to me about this globe theory, about this big ball that's just like hurling through space at 68,000 miles per hour and like spinning at 10,080, whatever it is, 1,080 miles per hour. But yet, I was out on the lake yesterday and guess what the waters were? Like glass, totally calm. Somebody explain that to me and I'd be willing to entertain the theory. They almost prefer flat earthers with like a set model that they can just like they can, that almost makes them more comfortable than someone like me. I, I consider myself a globe skeptic where I'm like, yeah, okay, well then how does a lighthouse work? I can do the eight inches per mile squared math. How does that work? And they're like, so then, so then you think that it's like a disc? And then we're going to fall to it. And I'm like, no, I, I obviously don't know. I live on a farm in Idaho. I'm a comedian. Like, I've never been. I'm like, I'm, but you can't answer those questions. Like, why can't we fly over Antarctica? Why is Antarctica off limits? Why is the only treaty that's ever existed uh, that's been enforced for the last 70 years? Has Owen, to it just came to me. It just came to me. You and I, Owen Benjamin and Stu Peters, are going to do an unguided trip. To Antarctica. I think about it every day. <laughs> Can we make it through the fortress? I mean, I, I heard Antarctica has its own Iron Dome, which, by the way, well, we they, spent billions I mean, on for Israel, our greatest ally. It's just like, what's there? And people are like, oh, nothing. It's just ice. It's nothing. And is I'm that like, where Damar Hamlin is hanging out and maybe Tupac, you know, and <laughs> JFK? Well, I, mean, I think that there's land, uh, there's land that, that it just isn't on maps. I think whoever controls the map controls the, the paradigm. That's why America is named after a map maker, Amerigo Vespucci. The United Nations, their map is the flat earth map. Do you think they might know something or they're telling you something? No. I saw the curve from the plane. And then you show uh, Neil uh, Steele to bike Tyson. And you're like, he says you can't see the curve in, until 130,000 feet because there's no curve at 100,000 feet. Like, I'll show you video of but it. But then you're supposed like, to believe that it changes every 55 and a half meters or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, when I get on the plane, a lot of the pilots recognize me. And there was a time just recently that I said to the pilot, I said, okay, so we're going from Minneapolis, St. Paul International Airport to Tampa Airport, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's you know, X miles, what's our cruising altitude going to be? And he said, well, 38,000. If we're at 38,000 feet. Now, when you start to descend, you feel it. You feel it in your body. You feel it in your gut. Your ears pop, all these things. I mean, even the slightest change of altitude, you feel it. You can't not feel it, right? Yeah. I said, well, so are we then going to be constantly reducing our altitude to maintain 38,000 feet above the ball's surface? Is that and he he just asked me to go take a seat. Uh, and then the other guy, I said, I said, well, I said, no, seriously. And then I looked at the co-pilot or the first mate or officer, or whatever it is. And I said, hey, um, so the earth is spinning at 1,080 miles per hour. Our cruising speed is going to be roughly 580 miles per hour. So are we going to wait for Tampa to catch back up to us then? Or how is it? And they just laughed and asked me what I ordered for my meal of the day. I mean, come on. Be a conspiracy theorist. Chances are you're absolutely right.